Hi friends, I wanted to talk today about one of the most common medications, uh, especially older Americans are taking, which are statins, which are medications that lower cholesterol. So about 38% of Americans have high cholesterol and many of those are being prescribed statins to take every day to prevent heart disease. Now, that's a whole topic in and of itself. If this is the right course of treatment, why aren't we, treat, why aren't we treating the root causes? But let's just save that for another day and talk about the statins themselves. So statins can cause um, some fatigue and some muscle weakness or muscle pain um, related to the reduction in CoQ10 that they cause. So an irony with these statins is your heart uses a lot of CoQ10. It needs a lot of CoQ10. So we're giving a drug to prevent heart disease. We're actually weakening the heart. So this can be a time if you are going to use statins to take supplemental CoQ10. It is depleted with age and adding the CoQ10 can actually protect your heart and reduce some of the symptoms of statins such as the muscle pain uh, and fatigue. So in this case, statins and CoQ10 make a great pairing. There are a few other medications I wanna mention that don't make as good of a pairing uh, with CoQ10. One of those is blood thinners. So it will accentuate the activity of, of a blood thinning drug. So you don't wanna add that um, without con consulting your doctor. Uh, another is insulin. So if you are diabetic, again, it can, it can make you more receptive to insulin, which is a good thing, but it can throw off your um, dosing for medication. So if you're diabetic, um, be aware of that. But when it comes to statins, CoQ10 are a really good friend. Another thing that they can do is possibly stress the liver and increase liver enzymes. And CoQ10 can stop some of that oxidative damage in the liver that statins can cause. Uh, it's really well tolerated. I take two every morning, even on an empty stomach, I tolerate it. But always talk to your doctor, start slowly. But if you have some people in your life who are taking statins, you may wanna bring this up with them. One thing I love about CoQ10 is it serves such a wide audience. So we've done a video on it for fertility. We've done a video on it for athletes. It's great for mold illness. Um, it's great for aging and skin health. It's great for prediabetes and blood sugar handling. Um, so it's just a well-rounded supplement that is uh, this antioxidant we already make. So in most cases, except for those couple uh, medication cases I mentioned, um, it's a really nice safe supplement for different stages of life.